Um, oh, pretty much all of it. I just really like the way we handle tonight. Um, it's a you know it's a difficult venue. Uh, you know they're a very well drilled team defensively. So you know going into it, I knew it wasn't going to be an open game. We would get sort of bags of chances, and um, I really like the way the boys handled that. They were patient, um, persistent in trying to you know find the gaps in in the ways we we spoke about and uh, and real composure. You know once we got ahead to control the game. Um, Obviously, there's a bit of drama at the end there, but even then, I thought I thought the lads handled it really well today. It's like I said, it's um, it was a different challenge for us tonight, and really liked the way we went about it. Yeah, Bren, yeah, it was great. Um, you know, he's had to be patient. He's had a couple of setbacks, obviously, so we haven't really seen. You know, him sort of in any consistent sort of game time or training time. But the last couple of weeks, he's worked hard at training. And uh, I thought all the subs that came on, I thought Pierre, you know, helped us get control of midfield. <coughs> Emerson at left back, I thought was outstanding. Um, so, you know, those kind of things are, are helping us at the moment. That The guys coming on uh, are helping us see out games. <coughs> You know, I mean, um, dreams last as long uh, as they do, mate, till somebody wakes you up. So we'll just see. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I guess, it, I mean, obviously the top of the table's great and the results are great, but it's more in the manner we're doing it. Like, it, there's, you know, pretty much from the first game, We've had all sorts of different kinds of challenges we've had to overcome. And um, every time there's been a real sort of focus and clear-headedness about the group collectively to deal with that. And that's been the really pleasing thing. And because they're getting rewards from that, then that kind of, you know, gives us the opportunity to accelerate the growth of, of giving them more sort of tools out there to, to help them um, you know, for whatever we need to overcome. And... Um, like I said, I thought tonight was going to be a real difficult game for us coming here. You know, Palace's result last week, you know, it's, it's a tight ground. I mean, they'd only conceded three goals in the four games so far. You know, how were the lads going to cope with the fact that we probably weren't going to create as many chances as we have been? And, you know, like I said, I really liked the way we, we, um, we worked through that as a group. No, I don't. I don't sense anyone sort of, um, you know, um, floating about the place. Um, you know, there's there's no um, there's there's no reason for them to feel that way because when they come in every day, they see the same thing. They see an environment where they know training is going to be hard. They're going to be training is going to be competitive doesn't allow you to, to think about anything other than, OK, they've got, they've got to be at their best every day to make sure that, you know, they keep pushing themselves, push each other to get to where we want to. So, you know, I don't... <coughs> and to be honest, I, you know, I think if you think about that stuff, you've probably got, you know, the, the wrong kind of people in your building. And, you know, I don't sense that with this group. This group is very, very determined to keep working hard, keep improving. Um, they demand that of me, of the coaching staff, of all the staff. And um, I, I see no reason why that won't continue. No, look, I think I said, um, you know, at the press conference. I, I don't think you'd see me any different. I mean, it's, it's, it's. Uh, I, I enjoy every day of it, and. Uh, you know, I want the players to enjoy every day of it, not because we're top of the table, because we're we're living the dream, mate. You know, we're 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 playing for a fantastic football club. You know, um, we get to do what we love, and uh, 
you know, the rest of it is is about honouring that responsibility that's been bestowed upon us. Um, so, you know, it doesn't, you know, for me, what's important is that we're giving our supporters some joy and some belief and some hope and that's, you know, that's what football clubs are there for, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we need to just keep feeding into that. Yeah, look, I think the connection's been there from the start, to be fair. Um, you know, the supporters have got right behind this group of players, um, you know, from the first game. Um, and, you know, I think... And again, obviously the results are great and we're in a great spot in terms of the table, but I think they like what they see. Not they like, but they appreciate what they see in that the players that are representing their football club are giving everything for it, you know. Um, you know, they're working awfully hard and, you know, the supporters see the end product, but they're working awfully hard every day and then you see it because it's not just about our football, it's about our attitude, it's about our intent as a, as a group, as a group of players. And I think the, that's what the fans wanted to see in their Tottenham team, you know, a, a group of players who are absolutely committed to something um, and, you know, represent all the, all the values that they want in their football club. And then obviously the rest is, is what you know, makes it special, the fact that we are winning as well, obviously, because the results count for everything and, and we're in a great spot in terms of the table. Mate, there's nothing I can do. I can't, certainly can't run on there and help them. So um, it, it is about the players. I've always felt that match day is about the players. And what we try and, you know, I think I've said before, what we try and do on a daily basis is give them the tools to find the solutions. You know, we, you know, I think I've used the analogy before. We, we prep them for their exam on the weekend, but we don't know what the questions are going to be. They've got to work them out themselves, you know. Um, in an exam, you're not asking anybody for help unless you've got results a different way. But... You know, you've got to work it out yourself. And hopefully what we've given them is the tools to say, OK, well, we know how to handle this. Just work our way. We've spoken about it or we've worked on it. Um, and and that's the ideal because, you know, as the game moves along, you know, the players are, are taking the responsibility. They don't need to look to me or the bench to see, you know, how we're going to overcome this. They, they Hopefully we've equipped them with that during the week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.